So what are non-attainment areas under the Clean Air Act? Uh, well, generally, these are areas that are unable to meet the national air quality standards um, through their state implementation plan. Uh, so in that way, uh, they, the states now have to comply with Part D, as it's called, of the Clean Air Act. And what this requires is a permitting process uh, maintained by the EPA that any time a new or modified uh, point source of pollution is going to come online, they have to apply through this permitting process and they have to meet certain standards before they can come online. And uh, the first off, it, it has to meet the uh, lowest achievable emission rate. Um, as identified uh, by the EPA per these uh, ambient quality standards. Okay, um, so the new source has to be very efficient and put forward a justification that it can can meet these standards. It has to show a reasonable further progress that bringing this new source online taken together with all other sources of pollutant or production in the area that it is going to move forward with uh, achieving the air quality standards or the standards laid out in the state implementation plan. In no event can the state implement implementation plan standards be less than the air quality standards, but it could be a higher standard than the air quality standards. But you uh, have to be able to demonstrate a reasonable path forward again for achieving these standards either through uh, a lessening of pollutant or some other plan as to how this is is going to achieve that now it can offset uh, certain sub pollution levels of other uh, polluters there to to demonstrate that there is a reasonable uh, forward progress towards achieving these air quality standards in that way and then you have to put in a compliance schedule okay uh, now uh, uh, the EPA has put forward additional non-attainment standards for individual pollutants and it does uh, imp it does require also a couple of additional um, uh, demonstrations uh, before the uh, new source or modified source can come online. So to start with it has to show that um, the SIP plan in the state is adequate, that it hasn't been rejected or been found inappropriate by the EPA. And two, that there has to be some form of alternative analysis that demonstrates the new source of pollution coming on board has greater uh, positives, right? That it has greater uh, positive impact that outweigh the negative impacts on the environment. So again, if all of these things are present, then it can, then a new source, newer modified source can come online within one of these non-attainment areas and, and receive a permit under this Part D of the Clean Air Act. Uh, but again, this is uh, the requirement that we would have to meet in these areas that have not met the air quality standards that established by um, the federal government, the EPA.